Hi, my name is Ray Carter, and I'm a 3L here at SIU Law. Um, I'm going to talk about what Black History Month means to me. Uh, Black History Month for me means that I can honor um, my past and my history. I also think Black History Month is a great opportunity for most Americans to learn about American history and learn about the mistakes of their past. And so that's why I think uh, Black History Month is great for all uh, Americans. Hello, my name is Aaron McCarter. I'm a 2L at SIU School of Law. Uh, my experiences of Black History Month at first was concerning and confusing because I wasn't sure why there was a difference between the months. And then as I started to learn more about it, and this, you know, granted I'm almost 40, so this is 30 years ago, I started learning that the history that I had been exposed to was overly limited and highly unfortunate for not only me, but the people that were involved in that time frame. I've learned more, I think, by focusing on black history than I think I ever would have otherwise. So I think it's not only a very necessary uh, topic, but it's also something that's incredibly important. Hello, my name is Raisha Patterson and I am a 2L. And to me, celebrating Black History Month means remembering and honoring all of those African-American heroes, whether we read about them in history books or not, and just remembering and honoring them for all of their accomplishments and the way that they paved for me. My name is Michael Remley. I'm a 3L at SIU. Uh, Black History Month is important for a couple of different reasons. I think uh, it's an important opportunity for us to uh, observe and appreciate the contributions of individuals who uh, are black. As early as uh, in grade school, we took the, the month out to study uh, Carver, Parks, uh, King, uh, just to name a few, and it was important to see the contributions those individuals made uh, so that moving forward, when we saw or read, uh, read an article or read a book that the individual in the, in the story uh, may not look like us, and that the contributions that those individuals made, uh, they may have had to overcome substantial obstacles, which makes the, the contribution even more important and special. Hi, my name is Brittany Robinson. I'm a 3L at Southern Illinois University School of Law and I'm here to tell you what Black History Month means to me. What Black History Month means to me is um, the revealing of uh, a lot of history that has been covered up or ignored for a very long time. There are a lot of notable black figures in our um, community today and from the past that have not gotten the recognition that um, many other figures in other cultures have gotten. Um, Black History Month also means to me um, true diversity because oftentimes we define diversity by the presence of other <clears throat> members of society that are minorities, but we do not truly get to understand their culture. So I think that there is an importance in celebrating Black History Month, and that is why. What does Black History Month mean to me? It means a chance to remember those that contributed to American history that aren't always thought about or remembered throughout the year. A chance for everyone to remember the contributions that black Americans have made to this country. Hi, my name is Cindy Byes and I am the interim dean and a professor of law at Southern Illinois University School of Law. And I'm talking to you about why I think Black History Month is so important. It's often been said that we will be doomed to repeat history if we don't remember it. And I think that's part of the importance of Black History Month, that we have to go back and remember our history in this country to make sure that we can do better in the future. I know I grew up in a small town in upstate New York, and Black History Month wasn't really part of the curriculum back then, and there were many parts of our history that we didn't learn about here in the United States. And I think school curriculums have probably changed since then for the better, but there's still so much history to be learned, to be digested, to be improved upon. So I think that we um, really have to celebrate these opportunities and make sure that we remember our past. When I think about the month of February, and in particular Black History Month, I think about our civil rights activists and everything that they went through. They used their voices and they took action to affect change. As an African-American, I look up to them. 
I'm appreciative of the sacrifices that they went through. As a law student, I'm also grateful for the opportunities that I have because of them. I believe that as a society, as African Americans, and as a people, we owe it to them to continue on their legacy and do our best to affect change. And for that, I am grateful to them, and I am grateful for Black History Month. Thanks. Hey, Selassie, thanks for asking me about the importance of Black History Month and diversity, uh, which is a big deal, the whole package, right? Um, maybe the most important thing for me in terms of diversity is to see it as not uh, an imposition or a requirement, but a competitive edge. And if we are folks who can deal with all people, um, then we as graduates of SIU, uh, as faculty members here at SIU, have an edge over lots of people because lots of people can't uh, make that connection. Uh, Black History Month helps us make that connection better and helps to give us that competitive edge. So thanks. The value of celebrating black history is that it's the opportunity to teach people who don't know about black history, which is really American history, about a community that has been marginalized, that has been oppressed, that was brought here in bondage. And so I think it's an important part of who we are as a people and who this country is. It's about our contributions to American society and to the United States. And so when I think about the work that I do, I think it is important um, in our everyday lives as an attorney, as attorneys uh, practicing and as a professor teaching young attorneys um, to highlight the advancement of people of color, um, of African Americans in this country, of people from the African continent in general. And I think as we grow as a country and looking at the politics today, I think it becomes even more important that we highlight our contributions to society, to the profession, and to this educational institution. Uh, I'm Mike Ruiz, and I'm the Assistant Dean for Career Services and Special Projects. Um, one of the things that we teach here at the law school is the importance of precedent. And so a lot of law students and lawyers are taught about how important it is to look backward rather than looking forward. And you know the problem of doing that is, is that a lot of us when we look backwards, we tend to look at the things that we like. We tend to look at the people that won. We tend to look, be the stuff that was written by the people who wrote the history books. And I think if you're going to base an entire legal system on precedent, on looking back, then you've got to look at everything. You've got to look at the things that you don't like the things that are written by other people, uh, the history of the people that didn't win, the history of the people that maybe were forgotten or overlooked. And so part of Black History Month is to remind you there's a whole other history. Um, and especially if you're not familiar with that history, it's important to learn it. Because again, if we're gonna try to convince people that what happened in the past is what should happen in the future, then you need to look at all the past, not just the past that you're comfortable with. Hello. My name is Elisa Tokunu, and I'm a 3L here at SIU Law. Um, as a person of African descent, I bask in the glory of celebrating Black History Month here in America. To me, it means celebrating perseverance and resilience of the people who have defied all odds and endured gross mistreatment. Um, I'm not embarrassed at all that my ancestors are slaves, but I'm encouraged by it and I'm in awe of the strength that they've displayed. Black History Month is a time for me to show gratitude to them for enduring to the very end so that I can be free. Thank you. Hi, this is Nolan Wright. Um, I am an associate professor here at the law school and head of public services. Just the other day, when I looked to see what my friend had posted, and it was about Alexander Dumas, and that was a name I recognized only I assumed that he was white. And, and that name is in history books, but I'll bet no history book that I was ever exposed to growing up had a picture of him. I'll bet none had any information about his background, just the books that he had published. And thinking about the impact of that, 
thinking about the purpose behind that, intentional exclusion, society and propping up the idea that only white men in particular had contributed to what has made this country succeed is just very, very disturbing. So I'm disturbed that I didn't know more. I'm glad that we have this month so the information focusing on this is being disseminated. Hi, my name is Billy Saunders. I'm a third year law student at SIU School of Law. And um, I think that the value of Black History Month is twofold. One, um, we have, as the United States negated Black Americans, their contribution to society at large, and also especially the United States, um, but also that we are all on the same team. All of us. We are all members of the human race, but we all have to recognize that each of us has value. And remembering the contributions that Black Americans have made and not underestimating what that means to the United States is important. Recently, I took a trip to South Africa with some of my friends and peers, and it really opened my eyes to the difference that we tend to look at rather than the unique contributions that we all can make, particularly for African Americans and Black Americans. And it really is necessary that we celebrate what has been done and what will continue to be done. Hi, I'm Tasha Childs. I'm a 3L here at SIU School of Law. And I think the value of celebrating Black History Month is to pay tribute to those before us who endured, who suffered, and who conquered um, for our future. So it's a respect to them for what they went through, what they endured, the fight that they fought so that today we could be free, today we could be equal, and today we could conquer and we can be successful. Our children can do the same. So we appreciate those before us who have suffered and endured harsh times so that now our future can be bright. And we appreciate them forevermore.